Hey everybody, welcome back to another, that's right, another diecast review in the new studio. And today, we are looking at some more Clint Boyer cars because there's a bunch of them. And this is going to be some of the different Clint Boyer Car of Tomorrow's from Richard Childress. So this is obviously, he was with Richard Childress from 2006 to 2011. Uh, now, in that time frame, however, I am going to mention uh, he did switch numbers. So this is just the 33 cars. There is still going to be another video full of a bunch of the 07 cars in COT and the 07 cars uh, that are in the Gen 4 car. So we got a couple of those 07s to do as well. But what we're doing today is just the number 33 that he ran from 2009 to 2011. Let's jump right in. So we're going to go ahead and slide everything off to the side. I have actually done a couple of these before because I've had them. Uh, but we're going to start and just go right in. And we're going to talk about the first one. Nice and low. There we go. Tripod's ready to go. Okay. So the first one we're talking about, this is the HartfordAuto.com Cheerios car. So this is, um, it's going to have Cheerios as like the primary sponsor, meaning it's here on there on the um, corner panel, here on the deck lid, also on the hood. Then you see the Hartford. Now, um, you'll notice it's got kind of a blue and white look to it with the checker or kind of these little squares down the left side. Um, we got it on the right side or the left and right side. My bad. Uh, also, these are all signed except for the Wheaties one. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's kind of a maroon red. And then you've got obviously the, um, the white and the blue. Now, I don't know where this one ran specifically. This is just part of that collection, but um, the paint scheme itself is actually pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I do I do kind of like it. Um, I do think the, the BB&T yellow and red is probably my favorite over in that color scheme, uh, but this one is by, by no means a bad match. And the coolest part, too, for these especially is the 2010s. So they've got the splitter still, and then they also have the spoiler. So this was a later 2010 car, which is kind of neat uh, as well. So we'll slide that off to the side. Let's get to car number two. So this one I've done before um we we don't need to see it again this is the um wheaties fuel car i had a bunch of these early on um somebody must have used them for donors or something that for cars they would make um but it's a it's a different type of um build this is a different it's not a lionel car if that makes any sense um so you look the tires look different they got a little rubber window net uh the steering wheel turns and stuff it's got big big thick headrest um Overall, I kind of like some of the detail with it. It's got the functioning rear suspension, which the other ones don't have. So this one, actually, if you push, it's got a full functioning suspension on here, if you want to see it. Yeah, see all that? Um, and I actually have a Casey Kane car that's made from this uh, this brand as well. Um, but yeah, so this is another one. I've, like I said, shown this one before. Go down here. We got one more on the left side. This is the uh, Booberry car. Uh, I also have shown this in a diecast review before. This is a pretty rare car. So getting one of these autographed, um, this is probably going to be a... A uh, decently rare car, so if you can happen to find one, that's it's going to be a good buy. But uh, this one will end up on eBay, so if anyone wants it, that's where you'll find it. But yeah, I've done the review on this one before. Um, kind of a fun color, the black and purple. Now we'll move on to the standard Cheerios car from 2009. This is the Chevy Impala uh, right there. And then we've also got the number 33. We got it in that yellow and red paint scheme. Um, you can see we got, obviously, the autograph on the windshield there. Uh, all these were signed in person for uh, the guy that uh, had the collection originally. Uh, DIN 407, but we got the roof lamps. Um, we got, obviously, Cheerios and BBT on the, on the hood. Go around to the right side. There's our number 33 again. And um, the biggest thing about it was the 07 car was specifically a Jack Daniels thing. Once Jack Daniels uh, stopped sponsoring... Uh, Clint Boyer or Cl stop sponsoring Richard Childress. They got rid of the 07 because there was no reason for them to have a sponsor specific number like they did when they had the 07 car. So uh, the next one here, this is the last on this list. This is the number 33 BB and T car. So um, this one is probably more famous for when he won it with it in the 07 car uh, because he won at Richmond, which that race win will be a little bit later in the reviews. Um, but this paint scheme is probably my favorite. I like the the maroon and yellow. I think it's a good color combination. Uh, obviously, this one's missing a hood pin up there on the hood, unfortunately. But um, this is probably my favorite of the paint scheme. So, obviously, the blueberry one's pretty cool for the black and purple. But as far as a standard scheme, there's something about, one, the, the children's number's always leaning forward. And then the maroon with the yellow just always fit well to me. I always liked it. Um, I was always kind of a big fan of the of those two colors. I thought they worked well together. Um, but that's a 2010... 2010 maybe what year was that one i think this one's 2009 or 2010 i can't remember it was one of the two seasons i'm gonna go with 2010 for multiple reasons uh actually i'm gonna tell you exactly why right now 
In 2010, it was the Chevy Impala right there. See how it says Impala? In 2009, which is the Blueberry car and the Cheerios car, it's the Impala SS. And so just from that alone, that tells me this is a 2010 because 2009, it was Impala SS. 2010, it was the Impala, but then they got rid of the wing. So, um, so yeah, that's what that is. Uh, kind of a fun way to figure or remember how that how to sort the difference between them. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm trying to keep this on the pedestal. There we go, on my tripod. Um, but anyway, guys, that will pretty much wrap up the review on these five cars. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments below. And let me know your thoughts on my all-new uh, setup with the 164th kind of line in the back wall. Got a whole pile of 164ths off in the corner there that need to get reviewed yet, too. So <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next one.